In this program, you're trying to determine how far Joe will jump when he hits the ramp at the bottom of the hill. So the way you're going to do this is a two-part problem. In part one, you need to find his velocity at the top of the ramp. So he's going to start with potential energy gravity. He's going to change that into kinetic energy. And then as he hits the ramp, some of that kinetic energy will turn back into potential energy gravity. Once he goes off the ramp, he will be a projectile, and you treat it just like any other projectile problem. He will land on another ramp with equal height to the first. So his net displacement in the vertical direction as a projectile will be zero. Okay, so the way that you want to attack this is you first want to find his height when he's at the top of the hill. You can ignore the slight curvature at the bottom that will allow a smooth transition and treat this thing like a triangle. So you have the hypotenuse and the angle, so you want to find his height. Then you want to find his height when he goes off the ramp. And for this, you're going to use the information it tells you about the ramp. So it tells you the hypotenuse of the ramp, which is 2.22 meters. And it tells you the angle with respect to the horizontal. Find his height at the top of this ramp. By subtracting those two heights, you will have his change in vertical distance or displacement which is the height that you will use when you're finding the change in potential energy due to the gravity. Set that equal to the kinetic energy, and that will give us the speed that he has as he goes off the ramp. When he goes off the ramp, he's going to be traveling at the angle of the ramp, so use that velocity, break it up into an x and y part, and then do a projectile problem to figure out the horizontal distance he travels. Remember that this does not take place on Earth, so make sure you use the appropriate uh, acceleration due to gravity, both when you're doing potential energy gravity and when you're doing the projectile part. When you're totally done, click on the end button, submit your answer for his horizontal distance, and then click on Joey to test if you did it correctly.